Bill Brennan. I'd like to, uh, you to imagine a project where the cost increases by nearly 50% more than the original projection. And where two and a half er years earlier than anticipated, the cost to consumers goes up by 50%. A project that costs each and every one of its users at least $720 a year, costs that could easily reach $1,500 a year for a family of four, maybe as much as $3,000. I'm not referring to rail, but to reversible lanes, such as the one in Tampa, Florida, the only city that seems to be mentioned, when other cities such as Dallas, Phoenix, San Jose, Denver, and Salt Lake come up with their rail alternatives. There the cost went from $300 million to $420 million. The toll is going up 50% next year, barely six months after its opening, and where a two-car family is likely using it only two times a day and only five times a week to spend at least $1,500 to use that reversible lane. And no telling how much more they'll spend as tolls are increased in future years. The managed lane alternative has been deemed inferior to the fixed guideway in the alternatives analysis, which shows that there'll be less traffic congestion in the studied corridor with a fixed guideway than without one, and less congestion in the corridor with a fixed guideway than with any of the other alternatives studied. Travel times are much more reliable with rail than in a car, even though they may be similar. The trip in a car today that may take 30 minute, 38 minutes may take 58 minutes tomorrow if there's a stall, 98 minutes if there's a two-car accident, all night if a military vehicle so damages a pedestrian bridge that the state moves to shut down the freeway. The ride in the train, however, will still likely be 38 minutes. Additionally, that time spent on a train will be much more productively and much less stressfully spent. Commuters can read the newspaper. Whether or not that's time well spent is debatable. However, students can study for a test or catch up on reading assignments without having to hassle about driving. Last summer, it took me 75 minutes to drive from here to YPO Soccer Complex, 14 miles, 75 minutes. I missed my daughter's soccer game. If I had gotten on a train, I probably could have seen at least the second half. Finally, when I last visited Chicago with my two children, the city from which I moved to Honolulu, I had several choices to get to my downtown hotel. Take a 55-minute cab ride for $35, rent a car for $35, take the rail, priceless for me and my kids. So be sure to include the Honolulu Airport on the route that you select for the LPA, as it serves people not only from all over this island, but from the neighbor islands and the world. Thank you. Thank you, members. Any questions? No questions. Thank you. No questions. Council Member DeJou. Thank you, Mr. Brennan. You didn't mention in your testimony very critical of uh, the Tampa system. May I just ask from your perspective then, you say these, Tampa is the only city that's doing this. Why is it that the city of Birmingham and the city of Fort Lauderdale, after going through the same process as Honolulu, decided not to do rail and do a elevated tollway similar to Tampa? I did not say, Council Member, that uh, Tampa was the only one. It's the only one that seems to be mentioned here. I haven't heard anyone here today for six, seven hours mention Birmingham. And I didn't say other cities were not using it. Second uh, question in terms of the cost. Uh, isn't it true that the reason the Tampa cost went up is because they had a foundation failure? That they've always that been true. very open. And couldn't a foundation failure also occur with a rail system? Yes, and it might not. It might, it might not. It right? might not. Just as it is elevated toll, it might or might not. It might not. Correct. And also, finally, isn't it also true that in terms of the 50% increase in cost, wasn't that a design? Didn't from the very beginning they explain to the Not for 2007, years? but for 2009. Yes. They had to move it up two and a half years early. From a 50% dollar, increase, not a half percent is, increase or 12 and a half percent. Right, which is from a dollar to a dollar fifty. Right, and if it goes up to two dollars, that'd be a, another 30 percent increase. And how much are we proposing to charge on the rail system here? What we charge for the bus. Which is two dollars. Two dollars. Uh -huh. Right. So it'd still be the same or less than the whole the rail system, right? Two dollars. Right. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Are there any further questions? No further questions. Thank you.